Okay, in five minutes, Claude Desktop has created a Miro whiteboarding clone. Let's check it out. Big reveal. <laughs> I mean, just look at the UI. Before I play with the functionality, look how similar. I kind of like Claude's design better. It's got the toolbar. It's got basically the same tools. Let's actually play with this. So sticky note, sticky note looks great. We got a little floating toolbar. We can change the font size, text, we can add in our text, shapes. Let's do a circle. Does the pen work? Let's see. Pen works. Highlighter works. I mean, this is just absurd. It took me, what, three minutes to write a PRD with Claude and then another five minutes for it to build the whole thing? This is V1, too. I'm convinced that we can get to almost the exact same functionality as Miro. So I'm just gonna go to Claude, I'm gonna tell it what we're trying to do and then add all the functionality to PRD and then we'll get Claude desktop to start coding. So I wanna build a Miro, the whiteboarding app. I wanna build an exact clone of it. I'm gonna describe some of the functionality. Here's a couple screenshots of what it looks like, but I need you to start on a PRD doc and then we'll add to it before we start coding. Basic shapes, text tools, pens, drawings, connectors. So we have our PRD all ready to go. I'm just gonna download this. And then we're gonna go back to a new chat window. We're gonna change this to Opus 4. We're gonna get crazy with it. And let's get even crazier. Extended thinking. Really put this thing to the test. And one prompt, here we go. Okay, in five minutes, Claude Desktop has created a Miro whiteboarding clone. Let's check it out. Big reveal. Okay, for those that want to stick around, we're going to try to dial in this functionality. So I'm going to go over to Miro. First thing, okay, let's try a sticky note. Okay, first, first thing, the good job, first of all, great job. You did great. Few changes. First is the, when you press the sticky note, the, um, the like floating toolbar, it's covering the sticky note. So I can't like enter text in the, the sticky note at all. Can you just move that toolbar up and then allow me to like click in the sticky note and type. Next thing is there's like a color palette in the bottom left. I don't think it's necessary because whenever you click a tool, then you can change the color in the toolbar. So get rid of that. Taking a visual design, blinking text cursor, updating floating toolbar. Perfect. Proceed with everything. Uh, okay, minor issue. I've already maxed out my usage in two versions with Opus 4. So I guess I can't do that. Like, I can't even go to Opus 3 anymore, which is just insane. Like, I'm completely maxed out. Obviously, I'm not going to pay $100 for max. But what I think I'm going to do, because I'm not going to wait for my usage to reset, I'm just going to make a new Claude account and then just log into that. Whatever, pay the 20 bucks. It's worth it. I have no patience. I'm not waiting and I want to get this thing done. So we're going to go, I'm going to download the code and then I'm going to upload it to my new Claude login. So I'm just going to keep going with this, trying to clone Miro as much as I can. Uh, I'm probably going to fast forward most of this. I don't think it's going to be that entertaining. I'm really just going to go back and forth with Claude on getting each of these features set up but uh, I'll just keep screen recording and pop in if anything interesting happens. Nice, well done. Another thing, when you drop a shape in, in Miro, I want us to match this. Here's a screenshot attached. There's a toolbar that shows up at the top. Can we add that in and it, we can change a few things like the color of the shape, the outline, ideally, the outline width, if that's possible. And then you can see there's a blinking cursor in the middle. So the default state should have a blinking cursor as well. Okay, new feature apparently added. Let's see if the toolbar actually works. Drop, drop in a shape. Oh, oh, no way. Did it, does it actually do it or does it just look good? Okay, that doesn't really work. Font doesn't really work, but it copied it exactly. That's pretty crazy. Oh, wow. That actually shows up and it works. The colors work. Okay. I don't even think it knew what the different functions were. It just copied the exact same look as the toolbar. Whoa, you can actually, okay, the stroke works and the width works. Clot, you are a beast.
All right, I just ran out of usage credits again, so I'm gonna call it here, but I think you get the idea. Here is the final version of the tool. We've got sticky notes, drag, you can type in the sticky note, you can change the color, I got that color palette generator. You can even change the opacity, you can change the font here, change the font size. We've got, of course, the text tool, We've got shape generator, you can actually drag these shapes, make them super big, same kind of toolbar up there. This pen tool, could never really get it working. I don't know why, but that's the tool. And I could keep going with this for sure and try to get really close to Miro. And I want to be clear too, I mean, no disrespect to Miro. I enjoy the app. I'll probably still use it. But I think the larger point here is with AI coding advancing so fast, we're now able to build our own versions of apps like this, completely customized to our own liking in basically no time at all, which I think is pretty cool.